Jose, in the league, how close do you think your team is to being exactly where you'd like them to be? Look, against Stoke, uh, the goalkeeper won the man of the match. Against Burnley, the goalkeeper won the man of the match. Against uh, Arsenal, uh, Peter was not the man of the match, but he was he was not far from he was not far from that. We need to put the ball in the net, and today we score four. But I think we missed also uh, three or four chances. Uh, so I think is it's just that. It's just that, but it's, that has also to be with confidence, confidence levels. Um, you know, today we were winning one nil, and we were missing chances, and then we lost the ball in midfield, and they got a, a direct free kick, uh, 18 meters from the goal. Uh, I thought one one. You have immediately negative feelings because you play so well and you don't score goals and you don't win matches. So I think what we need in the Premier League is exactly that, is to have a match where uh, you score goals and uh, people like Zlatan, like Rooney, especially these guys that their happiness depends on the goals they score, they need that. There's a phrase, there's a phrase Joe said, that the league table never lies, but do you think in the context of your performances, against those teams you mentioned that it's not maybe really a fair reflection of where you are as well. It's not. It's not. It's not. Um, I think the six points against Arsenal, Burnley and and Stoke are are too obvious. Too obvious that we that we deserve clearly. But football is not about what you deserve, it's about what you what you get and in the end of the season you forget uh, the goals that we miss, you forget the, the mistakes that the referees did, you forget, you forget the goals you you concede in in the last minutes, and in the end of the season is the table that reflects the reality. So we need to manage to to find good results in in the Premier League in, and to go to to the positions where we should and we would deserve to be. It was okay for this game. It was just a, it was just an option. He played last Sunday. I cannot play with 12 players. I cannot have on the bench 19, 20. Um, you wanted to see Mikitarian. I wanted to. I cannot play all of them at the same at the same time. So it was just an option. And I think the players they have to they have to win their positions. Um, they are friends, they are colleagues, they, they work together every day, but in the end they compete between themselves to have more chances to, more chances to play. And Anthony played against, uh, against Arsenal. Today was, was the moment to give a chance to, to Mkhitaryan to start. You know, we go match after match. Uh, you know, when I won the last title, uh, 18 years ago, sorry, 18 months ago. Uh, when I won the last title 18 months ago, um, I had in, I had 10 points advantage. And then in uh, one month, I had the same points as Man City. We lost 10 points in in one month. I remember that I think we finished, I don't know, it was end of December or beginning of January. We lost 10 points. So we went from plus 10 to the same number of points. Then we recover and then we won, we won that title 18 years ago. Sorry, 18 months ago. Um, so you can recover points. You can, other, other teams, they can lose points. During the season, there are moments where everything goes against you. There are moments where everything goes in your favor. So we know that the game is not over. But the reality is that there is a distance and there are many quality teams, many quality teams. So it's a very difficult competition. But let's go match after match and see what, 
what happened next Sunday next Sunday we play one more difficult game let's see if we can if we can get the three points do you think someone's due a hiding from you at some point Jose the way the way you've been creating chances and that sort of thing okay, you can you repeat do you think someone's due a, a heavy defeat against you in the Premier League at some point you know, it was today, it was today for Neil. I, mean, um, I know, I know, but uh, I think one day can happen. It's not very usual in the Premier League, uh, big results. We lost for Neil, sometimes somebody loses 5 1 or whatever, but it's not very usual. There is a great balance between teams, every game is is very difficult. So. More than win one game four or five nil, we need to win four or five matches. That's what that's what we need. So let's try to to get points. With, with, uh, Joseph, with Martial, do you, do you sense that he may be suffering from kind of second season syndrome? He had such an amazing season in his debut season, seventeen goals. He's found it harder this season. Do you, do you, do you sense that? that? You know, first of all, the teams are very different. The way the team played uh, last season, I'm not saying better or worse. I'm saying just different. So please write properly my my words. Uh, different teams, uh, and probably more adapted to to Anthony. Probably he was feeling more comfortable playing that playing that way at that intensity, at that rhythm of the ball possession and ball circulation. Um, so probably it needs also it needs also some some time, but in our squad, especially for these positions, we have uh, Mikitarian, Lingard, the Pai, Mata, Rashford, Martial is probably the positions where we have more options, and you have one opportunity, you have two, you have three. If you don't bite. Somebody comes and takes the meat. Are you confident that Michael Carrick can play three games in a week? Because obviously he's helped the ball pop in recent games. Let's see. Let's see.